Okay, so we just reviewed section one and section two of chapter seven, which is all about the Civil War and Alabama's involvement. So now we're looking at section three, Alabama at home during the war. And the vocabulary or the term, vocabulary word or the term that you need to know is a blockade. And that is kind of like a roadblock. Block. If you've ever been going to Oxford or Roanoke and you see some cop cars in the middle of the road, um, that's what a blockade is. It's just a roadblock. Only back then, there were no uh, police cars. So they had to roadblock with um, their other means of transportation. Introduction. The women remained at home during the war running the farms and factories and making goods for the soldiers. They raised money and nursed the wounded soldiers. Slaves and free blacks worked to build roads, railroads, and forts. They also worked in iron and ammunition factories. And ammunition, you know what that is, that's just like, uh, you know how you use bullets for a gun? That's what ammunition is. And all these jobs supported the war. Factories for war. Alabama's textile factories made clothing and tents for soldiers. More than half of the Confederacy's iron came from Alabama. Cannons, guns, bullets were made here. So the cannons and the guns and the bullets, that is your ammunition. Okay, that's what ammunition is. They were made here too. Ironclad ships were built to protect the ships from cannon fire. The naval blockade. Remember, that's just kind of like a roadblock. Get that there. Roadblock. So before the war, many goods were imported from other countries throughout Mobile Bay. The Union used ships to blockade the port. And again, that's just a roadblock. That's what a blockade is. As time went by, shortages of goods caused many problems. Salt was in short supply and the price could be as high as $150 per sack. Molasses and honey were substituted for sugar. Coffee was made with ground acorns, peanuts, okra seeds, and chicory roots. Breaking the blockade. Some ships were able to break the blockade by sneaking in quickly. These blockade runners brought needed supplies, but there were still shortages. Flour increased from $40 to $300, so it went way up. A barrel and a pair of boots increased from $25 to $150. This is a blockade runner uh, known as Ella and Annie. And then tomorrow we'll take a look at Section 4, Fighting and Freedom Come to Alabama.